Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Karaoke Spotlight. And now, the host and star of our show, Jack Double XL Freeman. Welcome to Spotlight Karaoke, everyone. How are we all doing tonight? I'm Jack Double XL Freeman. I'll be your host this evening. Let me tell you a little bit about the show. This is how it's going to work. What we do is we go around New England and the local areas and we find singers, karaoke singers usually, and we bring them over here on our show, if I think they deem worthy. <laughs> there are some singers out there I don't think I'd be too happy to bring into the set. Tonight we have three great singers. I can vouch for two of them. One of them is going to be a surprise. Okay. You never know, some of these people might go on to do other things, sing a little bit here, maybe a little acting over there. Who knows, they might even get to the Oscars. <laughs> you never know, right? Oscars, oh, speaking of Oscars, I want to ask you guys about the Oscars. Did anybody see the Oscars last week? Woo! Anybody, yeah, yeah. Neil Patrick Harris hosted the Oscars. I thought he did a fairly good job, but the guy got a lot of flack. Now, it wasn't, you know, I mean, I watched most of it and I thought he did okay. But what they don't know is that there's two other people that they're actually going to have to do the Oscars for him. Before Neil came in. Before they asked Neil, they asked Bill Cosby. <laughs> now, the problem with that is uh, uh, he, Bill went up to the producers and he basically told him, he says, Okay, <laughs> listen here. Before we do the show, we got to give everybody a little drink. And then before you give them the drink, we got to put a little spiky stuff in there. And the producer said, well, you know, Bill, uh, maybe this isn't going to work out. Okay, well, wait a minute. Because if that don't work, then we can always get some Jello Pops. And they'll love them. But just give them to the front row on the pretty girls in the front row right down there. <laughs> he said, Bill, I don't think it's going to work out. So, Bill was gone. The second choice they had was Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> now, Christopher Lloyd, if you guys know Christopher Lloyd, he's uh, been on a few movies, a few TV shows. Uh, he played uh, Reverend Jim Ignatowski on Taxi, uh, where he played kind of a crazy guy. Um, he did a movie called Dream Team, where he played a crazy guy. Uh, did Back to the Future, he played Doc Brown. He was kind of a crazy guy. <laughs> So basically, I'm starting to think that this guy's just totally nuts, and every time they need a role filled for a crazy guy, they call Clerst Floyd. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, now the producers want possibly Christopher Lloyd to do the opening. <laughs> this ain't going to work. Because I know Christopher Lloyd's going to come out, he's going to get up on the stage, and he goes, Ha oh, ha, welcome to the Oscars. I don't even know who I am. I just came in and used the restroom. And they flew me up here. I don't even know. So I don't think Jim was going to work out too good, Chris. So then they said, well, you know what? That kid on How I Met Your Mother, Neil Patrick Harris? Yeah, you know, the kid. Yeah. <laughs> got two kids and he just got married. Yeah. Let's throw him in there because that's going to be a real good fit for the rest of the crew. <laughs> so I did and I thought he did a decent job. But you never know. Point being is that I think uh, some of you guys tonight, some of my guests tonight, might even go on to be in the next Oscars. Give it a couple of years and we'll see. Right? Now, uh, moving on to the local news. I just wanted to mention this because I feel really bad about this, and that is Harrison Ford. Star Wars, big Star Wars fan. You guys Star Wars fans? Yeah? Yeah. Harrison Ford was in a plane accident. Now, some of you guys know he's a pretty good pilot. He actually pilots helicopters, airplanes, vintage airplanes. And supposedly, one of his airplanes that he was flying got, uh, had a little problem on takeoff. And the engine was kind of quirky. So um, I guess right after takeoff, he had engine problems, and he crash landed into a golf course, which worked out good for him, because he could get in a couple of holes while he's there. <laughs> no, he's going to be OK, though. It's, it's good. It's good. The only thing I'm concerned about is he's going to be in the next Star Wars film. Now. 
That being said, I think that the FAA is going to take away his license. That means he's not going to be able to pilot the Millennium Falcon, which means they're going to have to throw Chewbacca up there, and they're going to have Harrison back there serving drinks, <laughs> which is going to make Princess Leia very happy because she's a renowned alcoholic anyway. <laughs> So I could just picture her sitting back like a queen saying, Hans, come on, drink over here, not enough vodka, let's go, come on. So anyway, but they're going to be fine. And it all works out because the FAA is going to take away his license probably. And um, I know that Carrie Fisher is going to get her blue chip for being one year sober revoked by the AA. So. Anyway, enough said about that. I just want to wish Harrison Ford the best. Big fan. Okay. Now. Let's get on to our show. I know you guys are excited. I know you guys can't wait. We got some terrific talent here, and we're going to help you out right now by bringing out our first guest. So, without further ado, let's get the show going. Let me help uh, help me welcome our first guest. We have all the way from Franklin, Massachusetts, Mr. Brian C. <laughs> Brian, welcome to Spotlight Karaoke. Yeah, well, I know you're going to do a fantastic job. I will. We got a mic right here for you. Thank you. We're going to give that to you. Get up there and give it your best, my friend. All right. Hey, my friend. Ryan, see you, everyone. made up my mind about the one thing I've been knowing you're the only girl I've ever cared for in this world deep river woman Lord I'm coming home to you Lord, I know she's waiting. I'm just anticipating all my love. Your kind of love, girl, is forever. It took me a long time. That I've come so far to end up go 
going nowhere Girl, I need you by my side Oh, deep river woman Lord, I'm coming home to you Lord, I know she's waiting I'm just anticipating all my love This next song is a song by Robert Tepper from the movie Rocky IV, one of my favorites, No Easy Way Out. We're not indestructible Baby, better get that straight I think it's unbelievable How you give in the hands of fate Some things are worth fighting for Some feelings never die I'm not asking for another chance I just want to know why there's no easy way out There's no shortcut home There's no easy way out Giving in can't be wrong I don't want to pacify you I don't want to drag you down But I'm feeling like a prisoner like a stranger in a no-name town I see all the angry faces Afraid that could be you and me Talking about what might have been I'm thinking about what used to be There's no easy way out There's no shortcut for There's no easy way out Hey, we can tear this skin. We can know how we feel inside. Instead of going down an endless road, not knowing if we're dead or alive. Some things are worth fighting for. Some feelings never die. I'm not asking for another chance. I just want to know why. There's no easy way out There's no shortcut home There's no easy way out Shortcut home. There's no shortcut home. There's 
you. Hey, it's nice to have you on the show, man. Nice to see you. Appreciate it. Hey, what do you think? We're in uh, sunny Florida here. What do you think? It's beautiful. All the snow here we had in the East Coast. And yeah, this is this is actually uh, um, uh, Lake Louisa here in Milford. <laughs> this is, uh, we cleaned out all the snow. We threw a little sunshine. Let's go take a dip. Threw a couple of palm trees up. Yeah, I want to go right now. Just <laughs> <laughs> the snow is incredible. How you been? Oh, good, man. I just um, been taking a break from music. Um, I stepped down from a Kiss tribute band I was playing in. Uh, it was the Peter Chris in uh, Kiss Forever, and uh, I was playing drums and singing. And uh, my my parents died last oh, year. I'm so sorry. So I had two deaths plus my uncle. So I actually had three deaths in wow. in one year. And you keep really, on pushing on, man. That's, yeah. That's good. So I'm um, getting back into I'm the sure music again. Sure, they want you to keep doing your music and stuff. And I know you're an excellent drummer. Oh, thank you. Like you said, he was in a Kiss tribute band. I know those guys. I've seen him a few times. He's an uh, excellent drummer. Thank you. I can't decide what you do better, do you singing or drumming. <laughs> Maybe a little. Bit. You do them pretty equally well, I think. Thank you. Do, you. you do a really good job. Um, we got a uh, we got a couple of pictures here. Um, oh yeah. Of uh, you and the Kiss tribute band here. Let's that's right. Uh, Tyler, can you show? Yeah, yeah, just. Show that picture there. See it up on the screen up here. It's you and uh, all your makeup right there. Exactly. Yep, yeah, that's me. And uh, that's it takes. It took two hours to put that makeup on, actually. With two hours. Two hours. <laughs> wow, that's a long time. Man. All that's the bells time. and whistles with the with the uh, costume. Now we got another another shot here of you, uh, which is it's kind of funny. Uh, this is going back a few years. We're gonna throw this up on the screen too. Uh, this is you. On the right hand side. That's when I was younger. That's when I was about 23, actually. You on the right hand side. Yeah, you look. Uh, that's what quite the look the same, actually. <laughs> that's with my band, uh, Shotgun Law. Shotgun Law, yeah. We were very good. We were cross between Bon Jovi and Kiss, and uh, we possibly could have made it back then, but they were signing too many bands at the time, so yeah, we didn't catch the break. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I I did hear some good stuff about that band. It was really good, and, and you could have gone a long way with that. I'm surprised you're still not. Doing professional music, I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. With well, your voice and your drumming skills, and I, you're just not. Uh, yeah, I, I, in the future, I plan on trying out for uh, community auditions. Um, I'd like to go on that show and give it a shot. Um, so this is your first step on this, your way there. This is my first step. This is your yeah. first step. You come on, come on, spotlight <clears throat> karaoke, and then off to community auditions. That's right. When you sell a brand new car, you could probably use. Oh, that and thing. a Toyota Impreza, I could use that. Yeah, not going to be very good in the snow, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> No. You stick with your four-wheel drive. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, that personal life's going good, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, I have a new girlfriend from Brazil. Her name is Lady, and I want to give a shout-out to you, Lady. Oh, you're all, yeah, you're a and I'm going to dedicate another song to her later on. Very nice. And we're going to get you up here and sing another song, please. Very, very shortly. We've got a few more singers to go through, though, that I think you're going to be impressed with. Oh, great. In fact, maybe you can give them a few pointers. <laughs> you're the old pro here, so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ryan, I want to thank you for coming on uh, Spotlight Karaoke. Thank you very much. And it's a, always a pleasure having you on the show, man. Thank you so much. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're going to get our next singer up here right now. And she's a young lady I've known for quite a while. Um, she's been on a previous show of mine for uh, yeah, a couple of times anyway. Um, anyway, uh, I'd like to get her uh, up on our stage right now. Folks, all the way from Attleboro, Mass., please help me welcome on our stage April Jakes. Try 
try to hustle, and try to bust, and try to cuss them. The cops want some to bust down on Orleans Avenue. Another day, another dollar, another war, another tower went up where the homeless have their home. So we prayed as many different guys as there were flowers, but they call religion no friends. We're so worried about the saving of souls, afraid that God will take his soul that we forget to begin by. Who will save your souls when it comes to the belief now? Oh, 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 save your souls at those lies that you told, boy. Who will save your souls if you won't their own? La -di -da -di -da -di -da 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 some are walking, some are talking, some are stalking. They're killed, got social security, but it doesn't pay your bills. They all rejections of feed, and they are mouths to pay. So you bargain with the devil, but you're okay for two days, say. Then you love, then take their money and run. They say it's been swell, sweetheart, but it was just when saw a set of things that don't swing with those strings. You got to cut, so get out on the streets, girls, and bust your butt. And who will save? And my life is still trying to get that great big hill of hope for a destination. I realized quickly when I knew I should that the world was made of this brotherhood of man for whatever that means. And so I cry. What's in my head and I, I'm feeling a little peculiar And so I wake in the morning and I step outside And I take a deep breath and I get real high And I scream the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, yeah
try Oh my God, do I try I try all the time In this institution And I pray Oh my God, do I pray I pray I'm feeling a little peculiar And so I wake in the morning and I step outside And I take a deep breath and I get real high And I scream the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I say, to the show, dear. I'll just hug you from across the chair. Have a seat. Oh, it's been a long time. I missed that voice. <laughs> How you been? Good. Just good? Good. Just trying good. to deal with the weather. Yeah, everybody's trying yeah. to deal with this nasty, disgusting weather, huh? Mm -hmm. like, it seems like I'm out shoveling every other day. All I do is shovel. Yep. I don't have to try. do that. I have my husband for that. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to go to work. He's got to shovel. He's got to do everything. <laughs> So now, how are the kids doing? Yeah. You got, you got what, two? Mm -hmm. Three? Three. Three. Three, three stepchildren. How old are they? Right, just check. Okay. Nineteen. No, twenty, nineteen, and sixteen. Oh, twenty, nineteen, and sixteen. So they're, yeah. oh, they still in the house? Nope. They're all gone. All of them? No, the, six, the sixteen-year-old he comes over like once a week, every couple weeks. Oh, okay. Well, for the most part, you got the house to yourself. Yeah. Pretty much. So you get all the time to practice mm -hmm. sing, your singing and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> now, something you folks may not know about April here, she's a big Jurassic Park fan. Oh, God. Yeah, and there's a new movie coming out. I know. I'm so excited. You excited? When's that coming out? When's that going to be released? June, right? right? I think it's June this year. Yeah. June this year? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not too far. What, three months away? Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah, they finally got the park up and running, and then all hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't be Jurassic Park if that didn't happen, right? Nope. It would yeah. not be. So now, where do you usually hang out and sing these days? Um, I haven't been out that much lately, but... No kids in the house, and you're not going out. Well, I, no, I we, that. We, we went to... <laughs> don't understand that. Can I say where I went? I'm no. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Uh, no, we, there's a place in um, Mansfield Crossing. There's an um, Asian restaurant there. The in Asia Grill and Asia Grill and Bar, I think. In Mansfield? Yep. Okay. I don't usually times. get out that far, but... Mm. I know you're more like up this way. See yeah, you? I'm right here in Milford, and you're in uh, Attleboro. Attleboro, so that's closer so for that's, me. Yeah, that's yeah, like I know. right down the street. We haven't, right? I haven't been to one of your, I know, I haven't sang for you in a while. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm not really, uh, uh, I haven't found a good place to DJ at. Uh, mm. So I'm not, I haven't been doing that. So um, just getting back into doing the, the TV show here. Yeah. 
I know you're a busy you know. man. Yeah, well, this is this is a lot of work. Yeah, as our next guest will testify. <laughs> when we get him up here, he'll tell you all about the grueling schedules of <laughs> doing a TV show. Well, that's good. How's your husband doing? He's good. He's good. Right, honey. He's good. He's good. He can't talk from way over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. He looks good. Looks like he's got a little sun. I don't know where. But he must have been on vacation without you somewhere. No. No. no that's her. She went on vacation recently. Oh. Yeah. Right. So anything new and exciting happening other than no, the... my life is boring. We're boring. It's We're just boring. boring people, huh? We, you know, There's come home, to talk about, or... watch our TV shows, and go to bed. You know. Yeah. It's nothing fun. What do you think of Kiss? Do you mm -hmm. like the band Kiss? Yeah, they're all right. I've seen yeah. them once in concert. They're Did all right. You? I mean, yeah. Saw so them once in concert. At just Great okay. Woods. All right. Great Woods. At Great Woods? Yeah. Kiss was there? Yeah. At Great Woods? Yeah. This was like oh, years Great ago. Woods. That's the uh, Comcast Center now. Comcast Center, yes. Yeah. So you got to be. When you said Great Woods, I was thinking well, of That's why I did this, Great Woods, because like, it's the, the okay, yeah. people that know the place know that it's called Great Woods. Yeah. They changed it. That's right. I do remember now. Yes. I totally forgot about that. Yes. So, yeah. So Brian was in a Kiss band, and he was a nice, excellent drummer. If you saw, Thank you. if you saw the real Kiss, and you saw him play, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So you play the drums. <laughs> he was oh, nice. He was that. He was. He was. He was really good. Nice. He's actually, actually, I have this photo. I don't think I showed you here. That's. Wait, I'm gonna get you this one here. Look like a Kiss. This is actually. Uh, nice. There he is. One oh my goodness, him. that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even tell it's him, but he did a Thank very you. good job. Who did the makeup? Oh, me. You did the makeup? Two hours. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. A lot of Thank work. You. Yeah. A lot of work, yeah. So you know it's about a grueling schedule. Two hours for makeup. Oh, my God. That's worse than a girl. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought well, a 20-minute shower high was, high was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You had the high heels. You didn't have a little earring, though. That's, what you're no, missing. that's the one touch that I, that I missed. But I, I had the cross. <laughs> that's true. You did. Um, oh, I didn't even actually I, uh, ask you about uh, your nickname. They call him the Cat Man, and not because he was in a Kiss band, but he loves yeah, cats. Yeah, <laughs> he has three cats. cats. Uh. <laughs> That's why he became the Cat Man. Yeah. So. So you're not the crazy cat lady or crazy cat guy. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's a crazy cat guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His cats are crazy. Do you, do you have any animals? Yep. I have a long-haired Dotson, and I have a Beagle. And I have a cat. A long-haired Dotson. Mm -hmm. You'd think that their hair would just drag on the ground all the time because they're stubby little It legs, is pretty so. much. When it gets really long, like right now, it's really, really mm -hmm. long because this, it's, you know, they're you growing. You a handle on them, use them for a sweeper. <laughs> 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 we probably could. <laughs> Her ears hang, you I know. picture it. I can visualize this. Mm -hmm. Little Dotson with little tiny legs and little hair mm -hmm. hanging down. It's really cute, little, though. Little mops, you know? Her hair, like, comes out her paws and she's just yeah. so cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did have a... Um, a dedication for the show tonight, but I, I didn't have it put together quite. But my dog passed away Aww. about a month ago. Uh, her name is Cassie. She was 13 and a half years old. What kind of dog? She was a Sheltie. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I relate to the hair problem, but. Mm, yeah. yeah no, she doesn't shed, though. My dog. She's oh, she doesn't shed? Real hair. So oh, it's re oh, it's real hair mm -hmm. hair. Okay, my beagle sheds. Yeah, yeah, he beagle is. Beagle sheds. Oh, God, yes, he does. They have little tiny shorts. It doesn't matter. Like it's still, they, still, they still shed. Yeah. Really? We had a, um, a dog before him, too, and he passed away. We had to put him down on Halloween. Oh, I'm sorry. So you, you know what I'm going through. I know. It's very sad. But we got sure. another dog, and most people would think, don't get a dog too soon. Yeah. But he's, like, awesome. Really? You know? That's that's my goal. If people keep telling me to get another dog, mm. like, no. Don't think I can do it again. You will. You will want I'm one. i through three dogs. I don't, I don't mm. think I can do another one. No. no. They're like the man's best friend. you got to have they one. Are. They're, they're, they're like your children. Mm-hmm. And my children are growing and gone, so, you know. Mm. I don't know. I'll contemplate it. I'm still mourning. You know? Yeah, I know. We were like that too. And yeah. You just know when it's right and you just go get one. You know. Exactly. We used a shelter dog, so he was in the crate for two months, three months. I know. I feel to, I, be, I feel bad for those dogs. The, uh, they always have those advertisements on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, and those little dogs are shaking in the cage. Yeah, and I, I just want to get all of them. I know. They make you cry. You know, I, I know. Just, you know, how, how am I going to do that? Then I'll be the dog guy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Condemn my house. I got 80 dogs in there. <laughs> Although Frank is very nice. Oh, Frank, stupid cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, April, I would like to thank you for coming thank on the you show. Thank you for having me. We are going to have you get up and do another song because you're just so fantastic. Really? Already? We have to have you do another song. Not right now, oh, okay. but in a little bit. <laughs> in, in a little bit, we're okay. going to have you back up here. Okay. And uh, we're going to have our next singer come okay. on. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Folks, let me introduce our next guest. Um, 
I believe he comes from, I don't even know where he comes from. Milford. Milford, that's what I thought. Yeah, Milford. I thought it was Milford. <laughs> Let's make sure he's not on that Menden Milford line or something. Uh, anyway, yeah, our next guest, um, he might look a little familiar to you because he also hosts a show here at Milford TV. Um, it's his first time singing in front of me. I never heard him sing. This is going to be a surprise to me as well as you. <laughs> so, folks, please help me welcome Mr. R.J. Shady. 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 You gotta turn the mic on, RJ. Oh. <laughs> Remember, up, switch. There you Fantastic. go. Fantastic, okay. There great you go. Yeah, great start, yeah. Yeah, yeah. congrats. congrats. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely black. I hugged her and she hugged back. Like the sailor said, whoa, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just the beat. My life is gonna be beautiful I got sunshine enough to spread It's just like the fella said Tell me quick, ain't it a kick in the head? Yes indeed Like the fella once said Ain't that a kick in the head? Like this. Like the sailor said, whoa, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful She's telling me we'll be wet She's picked on a king-size bed I couldn't feel any better I'd be sick Tell me quick Oh, ain't love a kick Tell me quick Thank you. Friday night I crashed your party. Saturday I said I'm sorry. Sunday came and trashed me out again. I was only having fun Wasn't hurting anyone And we all enjoyed the weekend for a change I was stranded in the combat zone I walked through Bedford styles alone Even rode my motorcycle in the rain And you told me not to drive but I made it home alive So you said that only proves that I'm insane You may be right I may be crazy Oh, but it just may be the lunatic you're looking for Turn out the lights Oh, don't try to save me You may be wrong no, but you may be right Well, remember how I found you there Alone in your electric 
electric chair I told you dirty jokes until you smiled You were lonely for a man I said take me as I am Cause you might enjoy some madness for a while of all the years you tried to find someone to satisfy you I might be as crazy as you say If I'm crazy then it's true That it's all because of you And you wouldn't want me any other way You may be right I may be crazy You're looking for It's too late to fight It's too late to change me You may be wrong For all I know But you may be right I may be crazy Hey, but it just may be the lunatic you're looking for Turn out the light Oh, don't try to save me You may be wrong for all I know But you may be right But you may be right Be wrong, but you may be right. You may be wrong, but you may be right. You may be wrong. Hey, I'm Roger Chino. Go over there and talk to a uh, buddy Jack for a little bit. No, 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 no. Well, over. How are you? Nice Hello. to see you. you RJ, okay. nice, nice to, to have you on the show. Have a seat. Thank you. Dude, this set looks very, very distinctly familiar. I have no clue where I've uh, seen this, but I love the backdrop. Look at this. I, I'm so glad you flew me out to Florida for this show. It's so fantastic. It's great. You know, Jeff? Uh, um, Jeff? Jack. Jack, yeah, right, whatever. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Jack, uh, you know, I've been wanting to do a show for, I think, two weeks now. For two weeks? I've been wanting to do a show for, like, forever, forever. That's for me, the best like compliment I've had. I've wanted to do your show for two weeks now. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Most yeah. people say, oh, a year or two, but uh, RJ, uh, two weeks anyway. Two weeks, two weeks. I, and then I met you, like, two weeks ago. Yeah. You, and, Rob and, said, yeah. hey, you should go do a show. And I'm like, yeah, that could be cool. I figured since I was using your desk, it was the least I could do is have you on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is going to get back to Milford safe, right? Yes, it will. I hope um, so, yeah. Now, uh, speaking of your desk, uh -huh. let's, let's talk about some of the things you do here in the Milford City. You, you also have a show as well. Yes, I have a show let's called... Tell, um, tell us about that a little bit. I have a show called Talk Show with uh, RJ Sheedy. Is, yeah. that, is that the official cup right this is Yes, this is the official desk mug. That wow, because I, I got the official Milford TV mug, but uh, yeah, not, yeah. not as pretty as yours. You got to get some spotlights and night mugs, dude. It's... Every desk needs the show's mug. It's just tradition. It does, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll have to get some mugs made up. But yeah, this we, is our we first show, so um, yeah. it'd take us a little while to get get that going. Actually, uh, i got to apologize to April. I didn't offer you a hot beverage. No, I, I, I had one back. I know it's okay. customary to give you a hot beverage. It's, okay. but it's all good. I'm good. I, I would have taken care of you on my show. <laughs> I got a nipple oh. vodka. I got I a nipple vodka. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this, I got, this, I got dude, a little I'm bar in here if you want. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you can come on the show. I'm glad yeah, this can, is fantastic. Uh, this is really show. fun. And you took advantage of our guitar up there. Of course, you, you put it back backwards. But yeah, but uh, <laughs> whatever. It's, it's facing away from us now. <laughs> Why don't we go fix it? No, no, okay. it's okay. We'll, we'll get Brian C. to do that when he goes up and sings. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a little background over there. Um, yeah, so our set is uh, actually pretty nice for our first show. Yeah, it's lovely. You know, we're here in sunny Florida. And I we've know. got uh, you know beautiful little plant over there for you to uh, stand, stand in front of. Yeah. 
And, uh, yeah. That's you know what? You know Rob has to, to water that plant every day just to keep it alive? Really? Every day, yeah. He's uh, wasting water because it's a fake plant. I know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it keeps the dust off. Yeah. You know, so yeah. there is a purpose. There is a purpose. There is a the purpose off, for everything. Purpose. Yes, yes, indeed. Now, what is your show about? You, you impressed me with your show because Thank uh, you. some of the guests you have on your show. I, how do you get these people? Uh, tell us about, uh, you just had the Seinfeld writer. Yeah, I just had on uh, Spike Ferriston. Um, when I was talking to Spike, uh, he used the phrase, um, stupid, dumb luck, plenty of times. Mm -hmm. So I think entirely my show is just stupid, dumb luck. Well, really. how, did you, how did you actually get him? I mean, he, does he live around here or something? Well, or? He, okay, so here's the story. Um, back in uh, August, he joined Twitter. And I was like one of the first hundred people to follow him. Okay. And I realized he only has a hundred people following him right now which means it's very likely that he's seeing what people are sending him. Okay. So I tried it out, I sent a little, a little tweety tweets, yeah. and he favored it, so I'm like, okay, I have contact with this guy. What now? So what I decided to do was launch a Twitter campaign to hashtag get Spike on talk show. Nice. I invited, I, yeah, <laughs> it was fantastic. I, uh, all my friends uh, spent months tweeting him, um, I spent months tweeting him. It was really a team effort to bring so him this, here. So this took months? Yeah, about, this I'm going to say about three months from start. So where does he live originally now? He's from uh, West, West, uh, West Bridgewater originally. Really? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, he's from West Bridgewater. Okay. Um, okay. He lives in L.A. and he comes back for the holidays. Wow. Oh, so, so you caught him on the holiday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, oh. I got a message from Spike. He said, hey, I'll be home for Christmas. Yeah, right. Let me know. Lot, uh, that's a lot of dumb luck. Yeah, stupid dumb luck. That's exactly what, I think that's exactly what show business is. The best I could get is a beautiful girl and a guy that dresses up like a beautiful girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Uh, and you, of course. Ah, uh, yes, and, uh, and me. There's yeah. always RJ. Yeah, it's always <laughs> RJ. Well, that's, that's great. I mean, your, your show's going well, and you're getting ready to do a two-hour special out here. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is big. Um, on August 22nd, we'll be doing our 50th show. Wow. 50th that's talk great. show. So we'll be doing a big two-hour show. We'll be bringing back some of our favorite guests, some of our favorite musicians. We'll be showing clips from the last three years of talk show. It's going to be a really huge celebration, because me and my whole crew, we've worked incredibly hard to get to this point, yeah. and, I'm, and I yeah. couldn't be any prouder of what we've done so far. That's terrific. That's yeah. terrific. That's Thank great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, we look forward to seeing that show, RJ. We Absolutely, really do. Yeah. We really do. I want to thank you for coming on Spotlight Karaoke. Thank you. I'm, and, uh, I'm loving this. this is we're going we're gonna to have you up in a little bit and uh, sing great. one more song for us. Awesome. Uh, if that's cool with you. Yeah. Was, was the first time okay? First time was fantastic. Was it really? Second song was even better. Oh, fantastic. Love awesome. <laughs> great. Well, folks. We're going to have our, uh, we got to uh, run low on time, and we want to make sure that we uh, treat our guests right, so we're going to get our next singer up here. The gentleman we had up here in the very beginning is going to sing one more song for us. So please help me welcome once more, Mr. Brian C. This final song is uh, from a movie called Urban Cowboy. It's one of my favorites. Bo uh, Boz Skaggs sing sings this. And this is dedicated to my girlfriend, Lady, from Brazil. This is for you, Lady. Hope they never end this song This could take us all night long I looked at the moon and I felt blue Then I looked again and I saw you Eyes like fire in the night Bridges burning with their light. Now I want to spend the whole night through. And honey, yes, I'll have to spend it all on you. Love, look what you've 
done to me I never thought I'd fall again so easily Oh love You wouldn't lie to me Would you lead in me They might fade and turn to stone Let's get crazy all alone Hold me closer than you ever dare Close your eyes and I'll be there After all is said and done After all you are the one Take me up your staring through the door Take me where we don't care anymore you've done to me I never thought I'd fall again so easily oh love you wouldn't lie to me would you Definitely a tearjerker, that's for sure. <laughs> he has I just had to ask. I was, I was like, oh He has God. that effect on women. We're <laughs> <laughs> out in tears for one reason or another. Uh, <laughs> folks, we're going to keep things going right here. We're going to move right up to our next singer. He was up here earlier. So uh, if we can get her up here, help me welcome Miss April Jakes. Woo! Yeah.
Folks, that about wraps up our show. Spotlight karaoke. I'd like to bring my guests out here. Thank them one more time. Miss April Jakes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you guys for showing up. Brian, good luck with your music. Thank you very much. And everything else and Thanks your new for girlfriend. Us. RJ, thank you very much. No problem. We're going to have to chat some more sometime. I'd like to talk to you some more. And good luck with your show and everything. Thank you. Thank you. April, it's always a pleasure to see you, my dear. You know, we love you. I love you guys too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time here on Spotlight Curio. Thank you, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye.